to Ron Siegel Radio on ESPN Radio 1700. Now, live in studio, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. And most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content this morning, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender. Yay! Yeah, Lisa <laughs> Dunn is in the house. Lisa Dunn, Casa Bella Realty. Welcome. Good morning. How are you, Ron? Glad to have you with us. Let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally walk I personally work with you. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990. Ooh, a lot going on in the news once again today, but I am gonna start off, I like to start off with a celebration, and today is no different National Cookie Day. What's your favorite cookie? I must admit, I'm not biased at all. Anyone will do just fine. Um, and you know where to find me, right here in our beautiful studios. Ready for a cookie of any sort? Do you have a favorite cookie, Lisa? Oh, I miss cookies. I don't eat sugar anymore, and I really miss cookies. Oh. That's tough. I guess that's that's how you stay as nice and trim as you are, and then there's me. Keeps me frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> However, macadamia white chocolate chip, that's, that would be my favorite. Macadamia, that sounds like a good one. I like, I like that one. Mm. National Cookie Day. Get out there and celebrate. Don't, don't hold back. Uh, speaking of holding back, have you seen what's going on in the news? There's, there's a lot going on. I was watching recently, uh, just this morning, have you seen oil prices? Wow. Crude oil, the Saudi Arabia, the OPEC nations decided they were going to get together and find and, and decide what they're going to do with all the mass amounts of oil that are out in the marketplace. Well, they said they're going to increase production. Hmm, let's see if we can figure this out. Saudi Arabia, the OPEC nations increasing production. What are you doing? But there's a glut of supply on the market. What do you think is going to happen with prices? Well, crude oil's down to forty dollars a barrel. That's uh, it was actually in the broke below forty a little bit today. What's that mean to you? Well, it means that we should be seeing some benefits in our gas prices at least until we go into that summer crude production. Let's think about this one uh, right now. Gas national two dollars four point seven cents a gallon here in the state of confusion two sixty nine a gallon. 21 states under $2 a gallon. I like that idea. Uh, good. I missed this. You know, with all of the chaos going on last this er, earlier in the week and our chatting about it, I didn't get a chance to tell you. I guess on a Friday afternoon, it makes sense to talk about this one a little bit more than possibly some other days. Did you see the the... I'm not, I, I shouldn't say too much, yeah, but I will. Think about this one. The State Department of the United States in 2009, do you know who ran the State Department of the United States? Who was the Secretary of State in 2009? Yep, Hillary Clinton. And think about this one. Do you know who one of the biggest donors are to the to the Obama administration? I don't know, but do you think it could be Warren Buffett? Eh, maybe. 
So here's the question. Do you think Hillary Clinton really likes chocolate? I know a lot of people like chocolate, but during while uh, Secretary Clinton was the head of the State Department, 2009 through 2013, the United States State Department bought the equivalent of 18,000 one-pound boxes of chocolates. Guess who they bought them from? Nothing like a little air superior. Actually, I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Hit the wrong one there for a second. Yeah, none other than C's candy. 18, the equivalent of 18,000 one-pound boxes. Now, even Hillary Clinton probably didn't eat that many of them, but she might have had some donors to the Clinton Foundation that uh, might have liked those. $300,000 worth of chocolate she bought from C's candy. Now, connect the dots, Ron. C's candy, chocolate, Secretary of State, State Department. How does that correlate to Warren Buffett? Berkshire Hathaway, which is owned by, or predominantly by Warren Buffett, owns C's Candy. $300,000 of C's Candy. You gotta love it. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, unbelievable where some of these stories just take us. I, I can't make them up. I know there's people that say that I'm a partisan, and, and yes, I am partisan. I believe heavily in the United States of America. Call me a partisan for that. I'd love to see some great leadership. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any in the last seven years for sure. Before that, moderate, mediocre, wasn't the greatest of leadership. On, on, a, on the level of foreign affairs, I think the Bush administration probably did some good stuff. Domestically? Yeah not quite as good. They spent a lot of money on things that I don't think that we should have been spending money on. But that's a different issue. Just uh, just a thought there for you. I throw that out there just to share information. Sharing information on the real estate world. Well, let's talk about that one as well. Um, I told you, I talked to you a little bit earlier this week that the numbers are in. It's worth noting that the FHFA, Federal Housing Finance Agency, has kept the majority of the conforming and high balance loan limits the same going into 2016. 39 counties did get an increase. There are just a few of those counties here in California that got an increase. And yes, San Diego, we are one of them that did get an increase going up to, I believe it's uh, 580,000. That was an increase of about 18,000 over last year. So San Diego's good, Napa, Sonoma are the other ones. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get some of the er other areas that the California Association of Realtors was lobbying for. Unfortunately, they didn't get their way in that arena, but we'll continue to see if they work toward that. As we look at that, the numbers for housing, or, or job numbers came in, and the job numbers, Let's, let's tell you what the truth is and the information that nobody else is going to tell you. Yes, there were 211,000 jobs added in the job market for the month of November. 211,000. Mediocre at best. In the 300, 400,000 range, that's a strong economy. 211, mediocre. 200,000 was the anticipated number from the economists. The real unemployment number, not the fake one that the that gets publicized, the real unemployment number, this is U6, comes out of the same Bureau of Labor Statistics as the fake number, the U3 number. U3 stayed the same, 5%. U6, it increased just a little bit, just saying that the number of people unemployed or underemployed has increased a tick. One good thing, and probably the reason that that U6 number did increase, is the labor force participation rate, participation rate ticked up just a little bit, one-tenth of one percent. So there are a few more people saying, you know something, I think I'm going to stop collecting the entitlements and I'm going to go get a job or find a job. Maybe they're not fully employed, but at least they're getting some money coming in. They're, part, they're participating in our society. That's a good thing. 
So that part of the number is a little bit, you know, you got a tenth of 1% in the good side. The question mark that's gonna come up that we're gonna talk about a lot is December 15 and 16. What will happen when the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee has their meeting to determine what they're gonna do with interest rates? That will have an effect on the short-term rates. Some people think it'll have an effect on the mortgage rates. We'll talk about it. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, ugh, real estate and divorce, what do you need to know? We're gonna chat about it. We're gonna give you some education. If you want a divorce certificate for the holidays, we're gonna give you the information you need to know about. Freedom, maybe, maybe that's all about freedom, I don't know. How to sell your house during divorce? Do you know the difference your interest rate makes in purchases? And who gets the retirement accounts in divorce? All of that is on the docket. You can reach me anytime, call our offer number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990 or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package, including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. It's not every day your home gets flooded, but when it happens, you've got the good people at Apris on your side. With over 25 years of construction and insurance experience, they can turn any disaster around, making your home good as new. For 24-7 support, call 844-GO-APRIS or find us on the web at www.apris.me. Day, night, rain, or shine. When it happens to you, you know what to do. Go Apris. Remember, call 844-GO-APRIS. That's 844-462-7747. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgage consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800 306 1990. The Mortgage Minute today brought to you by Commerce for a Cause. 
If you're collect, taking credit cards, you're paying a credit card processing fee, how about getting part of that processing fee to go back to the charity of your choice? That's what Commerce for a Cause does. No, they don't charge you any more for the processing fee. They match the fees that you have nearly every time. I haven't seen one where they haven't. Yet, 20% of that fee goes to the nonprofit organization of your choice. Question, do you know the difference your interest rate makes? Now, I was just chatting with you a minute ago about interest rates, where they're going, and what's been happening. We saw, based on what happened in Europe, the European um, Union, with them not changing or, or not doing as much uh, buying of, of bonds, they, they announced their program earlier this week, that our interest rates took a big jump yesterday. What does that mean to you? A lot of people here, okay, they made, took a big jump. What does it mean when you're going to buy a house? So, you know, you know, I don't know anybody that, that really, if, it's, if you're wise, here's, here's I'm going to say this, if you're wise, don't worry about the price of a house. What you want to know is the cost. Unless you're going and paying cash, you need to understand what is it going to cost you every single month and can you afford it? If you say that I've got a budget and I'm going to use a round and easy number here, you can do some multiplication if you want to. I can afford $1,000 a month for my rent, for my mortgage. Well, look at these numbers. In 1985, $1,000 a month. The interest rates then were 11.5%. And you could get a house for a $100,000 house. That's what you could buy. In the year 2000, interest rates 7.54%. You could buy a $142,000 house. And in the year 2015, that $1,000 payment will buy you a $210,000 house. Again, do the math. If you can afford $2,000 a month, you could probably look at a $420,000 house. $3,000, whatever. You, you, it's multiplied by one. It's pretty simple. So think about that. Now, when you start going the other way and you start interest rates start going up, that's when your purchasing power comes down. Seven, if interest rates go back up to 7.5%, your $1,000 a month is going to buy you $142,000. The, the, the item that I want you to understand here is number one, interest rates are extremely low. Even if they raise rates in a couple weeks, they're still extremely low. Real estate, I told you yesterday, came out with these statistics. The projections are, not my projections, these are from the experts, that real estate is in the U.S. is going to go up 5.2% next year. The state of California is expected to go up 10.8%. I can give you the chart if you want it. With those things in mind, don't you think now is the time to get involved in buying real estate? Or the alternative here, I'm going to give you the alternative because you don't have to get involved in buying real estate. There is an alternative and that would be to continue paying somebody else's mortgage. Because if you don't own real estate, you're living in a piece of property that somebody else owns and you're paying their mortgage. And I bet they're not sending you a thank you note. Just a guess, they're probably not sending you a thank you note for paying their mortgage. That's the, that's the Mortgage Minute today. You have the option. You can give us a call at 800-306-1990. I'd be happy to put you in touch with a great real estate professional. And the Mortgage Minute is being brought to you by Commerce for a Cause. Speaking of a great real estate professional, we get the opportunity once again to chat this morning with Lisa Dunn, Casa Bella Realty. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for the kind words. Absolutely. Well, you know something, you're, you're out there working hard in many areas, not, not many people realize, because you know, there's some real estate professionals and, and there's some real estate licensees who are not real estate professionals. And then there's real estate professionals that are out there just doing their own thing, not doing as much in the community, real estate community, the whole nine yards. And you're out there doing all of it. I try. I, I, tr I definitely try. Because, you know, I have to, I have to give back. I have to give back to the community. I have to give back to my profession that has allowed me to be a full-time realtor for the past 22 years. And so you started at seven. I did. It was wow. very, very difficult climbing <laughs> up into the you know the stool to take that test. But um, now it's it's good. 
it's good to give back. It's good to be involved. I feel that a lot of the um, professional volunteer work I do really helps me in my career. My clients know that they have somebody that knows pretty much what's going on in the marketplace and usually a little bit more because I know what's coming down the pipe um, representing them and I actually do business while I'm doing um, my volunteer work I you know I do double digit production every year um, I'm out in the trenches and I know what I speak of what does double digit production mean? Uh, I sell more than two houses, sell more than ten houses. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was wondering because a lot of people don't don't understand because they're the average realtor in the Orange County. I don't know the whole state. Average real estate perfect licensee in the state of in, in Orange County sells a half a house a year. Yeah, and that's being generous because we are seeing the numbers just go through the roof of people getting their real estate licenses, and you know that's a good thing. But people are going to find out really quick that just because you got a license doesn't mean that you're going to get rich and it takes a long time to gain experience. Uh, one thing that's kind of sad about our industry and I wish that we could uh, kind of inf get some laws on the books to enforce this a little bit more. Uh, Commissioner Wayne Bell if you're listening uh, please take notes um, that we should have an apprenticeship program because this is this isn't a get which quick scheme off of somebody else's money. You need to know what you're doing when you represent a client. And, you know, I don't look at myself as in a sales position. The sales part's easy. You know, you put out a sign, you hold an open house, you know, people come in. But what happens when you have a contract written? How are you going to get it through escrow? How are you going to challenge an appraisal that you don't think uh, was done properly? Well, there's the that's the big issue, and we, we actually talked about this a little bit um, on I think it was Monday's broadcast. I had a a military veteran on, and he brought a statistic to me that was just baffled me, and uh, it was <laughs> or a comparison, I should say. It takes 18 months of schooling to get a license to cut hair. Exactly. And I think the number is about 90 days to get a license to sell real estate. Yeah, and you can take courses after the fact. And as soon as you take your test, if you've done all of your fingerprinting and you know background checks and all of that stuff, you have a license number and you can right. walk out the door and go sell a house. And just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, you know, there's a lot of expertise that's really needed. Um, you know, if you're out there choosing a real estate professional and, you know, your brother-in-law just got his license and you're going to sell your house and, you know, go buy a new one, you know, if you got to look at this guy across the table at Thanksgiving, you might want to go with an agent that knows a little bit more about what's going on and preserve that relationship because, you know, if something goes wrong it's going to just mess things up and you know you're talking big dollars you're talking high emotions a lot of stress you need somebody with experience that knows what they're doing and if you know you know a new licensee and you want to help them out and be their guinea pig be sure that they're working with somebody that knows what they're doing so they can hold their hand and not let you be the bad experiment well, that's, you know, something very few people talk about that, and I've shared that many, many times on our broadcasts, is that exact issue is that in our industry, in the real estate industry, I'd say ours, I've never sold a piece of property for somebody else, only on my own account. I do have a license. Um, again, I'm, I'm one of those that still sells less than a half of one a year with a license. I, I just don't, that's not what I do. I do radio. But the idea here is everybody starts off at day one. It's the one thing that everybody's got in, in common. The person that I think that wants to make this into a profession is going to realize that they need to find a good team or mentor. And yeah, you got to pay them. Yeah, you got to you pay, pay your dues. Person. You got to pay your dues, just like any other job. You know, you just don't walk into a corporate job and say, oh, excuse me, I want to be the CEO just because I can. Right. You know, you got to earn the the respect uh, you got to learn what's going on um, it's amazing that somebody can just get a license go out and sell a house they, they don't even know how to fill out a contract well, that's the interesting part is the the classes that you take don't even have anything to do with filling out a contract or marketing a piece of property or how you how they what the ethics are of, of uh, educating the consumer mm -hmm. or 
you know, even the new contracts now. So you've got you've got to get educated. You've got to have somebody out there who's showing you the way. Got a little off our topic today, but well, it's important, it's important too, though, stuff. because you know there's a lot of people that unfortunately divorce is going to be part of their lives, and you know they might have the you know the friend down the street that you know might have been a crossing guard or something who got her her license and said, oh well, you know, um, I can help you. I can help you. You know, you're getting a divorce. I can help sell your house, and it's like. Uh, no, this is really when you want somebody with some experience. Absolutely, and you need it in many, many areas. In fact, I'm going to share a story when we come back as well about you know, even the attorneys, what the attorneys aren't doing, what they're not telling you, and it costs somebody $200,000. I'm going to share that when we come back. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. We will talk about what your lawyer won't tell you, divorce lawyer, what he's not going to tell you. Ooh, I wonder what that's all about. And we've got how to sell your house during divorce. It's Friday, so we've got our date night trivia question. That'll be more fun than divorce anyway. Well, they kind of could go hand in hand. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> Reach me anytime. Call our off air number 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest-only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's one 1- 800-306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgages. Consolidate credit cards and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations. NMLS 21037 and DRE number 01869452. 37% of American homeowners believe they have over 20% equity in their homes. Fannie Mae tells us 69% of American homeowners have over 20% equity in their homes. Fully one in three American homeowners are not informed about the amount of equity they have in their homes. Are you one of them? How might this be holding you back from achieving your goals? Text RSR CMA 279564 to get a property valuation from one of the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Again, to know how much your home is really worth, simply text RSR CMA 279564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. 
The Real Time Real Estate segment today brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. I talk about this regularly. You're probably getting tired of hearing it, but I'm on my soapbox. You are not going to get the true value of your home, an accurate value of your home, by going online and going to any one of the major websites. If you look at their sites, they will tell you how far off they're going to be. 5%, 10%, 20%, huge. You need a professional that's in your neighborhood. That's why I have chatted with many, many real estate agents around the country. They are all on board with doing a professional equity analysis review for you in your neighborhood because they are in your neighborhood as well. What do you have to do? It's free. Text PAIR, P-E-A-R to 79564, PAIR, Professional Equity Analysis Review to 79564, and you'll get a phone call. Get a little bit of a chat, talk to somebody who's knowledgeable, and then you'll get a report program telling you what your house is worth. Very, very simple. It's not one of the online services. Those They do a, they serve you a purpose. If you want bad information, it's your choice. How to sell your house during a divorce is the topic that we're going to get into significantly today. It's a tough process. It's something that is not a traditional home sale. Going through a divorce, hopefully, uh, you know, I can't speak from experience there. I Thank goodness my wife's put up with me for many, many years. I don't know how she does it. She's very, very strong to put up with me. but. I do talk to people. It's stressful. Ironically enough, I go to see a lot of, re- of attorneys, basically chatting with them about real estate. The most highly secured offices I go into, they almost look like banks going into a family lawyer's office. It's a shame, but it really is. It's a stressful time getting parties to agree on anything during that. They, they agree to get married, but when it comes to divorce, they can't even agree on the time of day, whether it's night or day and who's going to get the house, who's not going to get the house, how to do it. It is a specialized industry. The average real estate professional, they may, you might even go to a great real estate professional. It may not be just an average real estate professional. You may go to a great one, and if they are not used to handling divorce cases, find a new one because it's specialized. There's going to be documentation that's needed. There are tricks to the trade. There are items that the professional divorce real estate professional will educate the attorney on, unless you go into the attorney that they recommended to you or that we did through your area trust professional program because, again, we talked to them ahead of time. We're going to get into that deep, but I just want you to know it's not the same person and if you want some information, if you want the value of your house for that purpose, give me an idea of values. Lisa, I don't know if I've even told you this one. One of the, a friend of mine is a, back in the day, he used to handle all of my appraisals when we could go and, and hire and vet an appraiser. Now we can't hire an appraiser, we can't vet an appraiser. We have to go, new laws, 2000, that's not even new anymore, 2009. <laughs> We have to go to an appraisal management company. They go and hire whoever they can, basically the lowest bidder to deal with your housing issues. And the appraiser that I used said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to only deal with professionals. So he deals with estate attorneys and family lawyers and a few others where they're looking at the value of real estate for a professional purpose as opposed to lending purpose. Well. They go and they do an appraisal for a property, and he comes back and says the property, based on his valuation for his client's purposes, was I think a million dollars. The other side came back and said, well, Zillow says, and, and, and he gave the appraisal to the attorney. The attorney puts it in his briefcase just so he's prepared for trial. And they get to the courthouse, and the other side says, well, the property's worth $1.4 million, according to Zillow. <laughs> now, Don't even get me going on Zillow right now. Okay, so, <laughs> so now they go, and the attorney for my appraiser friend comes and says, okay, we'll use 1.4, because his client is now going to get a, if they split that, they're going to get $200,000 more in the valuation than what the property's really worth just because of having gone and got professional guidance. 
you know, the thing about Zillow, uh, what is it, Zestimates, right. I guess? And they, there's different sites all over the place that do Absolutely. this. But, you know, Zillow's the one that's the most famous. And um, I was at a, a function where their vice president spoke. It was to a group of realtors. And the most interesting thing that he said was uh, when questioned as to the accuracy of the Zestimates, he said, well, of course they're not accurate. That's why we have real estate professionals. We have realtors that can go tell you what your house is really worth. Right. It's like, really? So why are you giving people bad information? Yeah, and, and it's just because, you know, it's, it's just a number that they're throwing out there. I've, I've seen their website deep in the site. It'll tell you how accurate or inaccurate it is. But it's you got to have professional guidance. So give us a couple of clues. What are the divorce attorneys not going to tell us about selling a house? Well, they're not going to tell you all kinds of things. Um, but one of the things is uh, the formula that's usually used to determine the equity that will be split between the parties. Uh, the lawyer version of it is you have an appraisal, you get the appraised amount, you subtract the loan balance, and now you have equity, and then you divide it. And then maybe a smarter attorney will say, well, we're going to have to you know, take in the cost to sell a home, and we'll take that out too, and then divide that. What if the house condition isn't what you think it is? And you think that, okay, well, I'm going to sign off uh, you know, $75,000 to my spouse that I never want to see again. This will make him go away real quick. You go to sell the house after the um, divorce is final. You find out that the thing's riddled with termites. Um, you have uh, systems that are not going to be functional after a year or two, like your furnace is on its last leg, your water heater is gurgling, making horrible noises, your air conditioner you know, won't turn on. Um, now you're left holding the bag right. uh, saying, uh, who's going to pay for this new roof that the house needs? Who's going to do this? Who's going to pay for tending the house, the $5,000 that it could possibly cost? You just gave away $75,000, but it might cost you twenty. So now you're at 55000 Is that fair? So you need to really kind of know the condition of your home first. Don't just rely on what the appraisal is. Um, I am a certified divorce specialist. I sat through a three-day course learn things that are just invaluable that the average real estate agent wouldn't know unless they've taken the, um, the collaborative divorce certification class. And there's so much to the actual value of a home that you really need to dig in deep, have a termite inspection, have a home inspector come out there and tell you what is the condition of your house and take that into account as well as a market analysis as to what's really going on in that particular neighborhood to determine what the true value of the house is before you step into that courtroom. Do you think that, it, I mean, I know that it, it's a challenge in every case the emotions are so high for everybody. I often wonder, is there any benefit or, or why is it that the parties don't just divorce themselves of that asset completely? Well, that's usually the wisest thing to do. Um, you know, one of the things that, a uh, little tagline that we have is divorce the house and the spouse. Right. And one of the biggest misconceptions, too, is sign this quick claim deed and that means that that person no longer has an interest in the house. Well, that's all well and good if you own it outright, but if you have a mortgage and you do not get the other party off of the mortgage by refinancing, you're just as married to that house as you were before you were divorced because you are going to be financially on the hook for whatever that other party does. And if you really want to be divorced from the house as well as your spouse, you need to not only do a quick claim deed, but you're going to need to refinance it into your name only if you plan on keeping that house. And here's another thing for all of the people out there that think that I'm going to keep the family home. I don't want to upset the kids. Well, who says that you're going to even qualify for a mortgage to get that spouse off of that mortgage. Maybe sometimes it's not the wisest thing to do. The kids are already upset. The kids are upset. And a lot of times the kids are like, can I get out of this house? Because all I remember is mom and dad fighting like cats and dogs. Um, sometimes 
getting them into a new location and saying we're moving on, uh, you know, moving on with our lives, we're in a new home, uh, you know, seeking out um, help from family therapists is really important too. Part of the collaborative divorce process is working with, as a team, with not only real estate professionals and appraisers, inspectors, termite um, inspectors and such, but working with lawyers, working with family therapists, um, so that there's support throughout the whole process because it's stressful selling a house. It's stressful getting a divorce. You put those two things together and you got kids that are on the fringe that you might think are okay, but those kids aren't going to tell mom or dad that they're disappointed in what's going on, that they you know feel responsible. They need somebody to talk to too. And that um, therapist can find out if the kids would like to get out of that home, have a fresh change of scenery, or if uprooting them is going to be something that could really be detrimental. So there's a lot that goes to it. Um, you just can't say, I'm keeping the house, go away. There's a lot to go on with it. And you also need to do a check on what liens are against the house. There's a, there's a whole lot to it. and. You know, and we're going to talk about more because the collaborative idea, that's uh, a lot of people don't even contemplate or, or entertain that idea going collaborative, but they don't even, they don't know, what, number one, they don't know what's available. Yeah. And then they don't know that the attorneys, by definition within collaboration, cannot go the other side. They can never, they can't cross that line to go litigation if they've signed on as a collaborative. So there's, there's a lot of value there. We're going to talk more about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. We will also chat about the 401k, who gets that, or the retirement accounts in divorce. And on a lighter note, date night trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. That trivia question is coming up. You can reach me anytime. Call our off air number 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Do you have a loved one who wants to stay in their home, but you have health concerns about it? The Preferred Care Team understands the challenges of caring for your loved ones. Their goal is to keep seniors as independent as possible while maintaining their health, safety, and overall well-being. Whether you need just a few hours a week or 24-hour care, Preferred Care caregivers are trained to meet your needs. Call Preferred Care at 714-696-9150. That's 714-696-9150. Or visit preferredcare.com. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's one 800 
800-306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Scripps Proton Therapy Center is turning cancer treatment into an art form because life after cancer is a beautiful thing. Learn more at scripps.org slash beautiful thing. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio with Every Market. There are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Okay, it's time for our date night trivia question presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. I gotta love Reunion Kitchen and Drink. There's some good people, great food, and I love to see people when we go over there and get a chance to say hello because I am there frequently. Uh, generally, I'm on there on date night with my bride. But here's the question you need to be the third person to post the correct answer to Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook. The other sites that we're on, it doesn't work there, just Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook, per David Meltzer. Are there more injuries in high school football or high school cheerleading? Are there more injuries in high school football or high school cheerleading? Again, I, I don't know the answer. I've only got boys, so I don't know, didn't know the answer. David shared it with us. If you were listening Monday, you got the answer. You can just be the third person. To put that answer right there, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. You can win that date night trivia package. It's dinner for two at Reunion. A couple of movie tickets, some money for Starbucks. Uh, get a late night uh, after dinner drink or whatever. Maybe you want a cup of coffee in the morning. It's your choice. I'm not here to say anything anyway. But that is our date night trivia question for this week. I'd be the third person. I bet you. I bet you can guess this answer. It seems like it's pretty simple, doesn't it? Ah, uh, well. What else do we have? To, we've got our word on wealth sec. Word on wealth, and it's being presented by the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. You need a household board of directors. That household board of directors is going to include real estate, mortgage, maybe reverse mortgage, tax planning, financial planning, CPA. A state attorney, family lawyer, I don't know which other ones you might need. There's, a, there's about 11 or 12 different professionals. When you text ATP to 79564, there's a two-minute survey, and we will give you the introductions to every person that should be on your household board of directors. You make the decision, but we'll give you the information. The question this morning, though, and if you don't have a household board of directors and you're contemplating divorce, you might want to get a household board of directors because sometimes there's questions that come up that are not straightforward. The lawyers do a great job, but they do law. They don't do mortgage. They sometimes don't have the overlays, we call them. We'll talk with Lisa about that in a minute that happens in, in mortgage and in real estate as compared to what the judge might say. Who gets the retirement accounts in divorce? Well, that's another one of those issues that you need to chat about because there are formulas. They have this qualified domestic relations order that's supposed to distribute the 401k and assets and, and the, the components correctly. But are they taking into account federal, state, and local laws? Are they dealing with beneficiaries, distributions, who's paying the, the life insurance programs, tax implications? All of those things are specialties. Now, I've had, uh, we've, we've chatted on our broadcast in the past, John Labriola. He specializes exclusively in the accounting world of divorce. I shouldn't say exclusively, he does other things, but he had one of his specialties is in collaborative divorce, but he's in the accounting side. Now, how would he make a living by handling collaborative divorce, which is obviously a subset of divorce, and accounting, which is a subset of the overall accounting world, 
if there's not a lot to be done here, and maybe if you don't have a professional handling that for you, you might be left out in the cold. Just saying. That is our Word on Wealth segment, again, brought to you by the Area Trust Professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. And once again, text ATP to 79564. We will put those people in touch with you so you can get some great counsel. I'm a big believer, Lisa, you might, you, you've got so much experience in this world in, of helping folks. I frequently say that many of the professionals that we can hire in the, at the end of the day, cost us absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, nobody really wants to say, I've got to shell out, you know, a couple of bucks to, you know, a termite inspector, 100 bucks to a termite inspector to come out and see, you know, what the condition of your home is. But if you do that and you find out, i got to spend $5,000 getting my house back up to snuff. You know, people are under the, you know, common misconception of, well, I painted my house 15 years ago, and I had somebody come and check it for bugs then, and it didn't have any. You can get a termite infestation in less than two years. You sure. can get wood rot in a year. You know, you've got, you've got to hire people that know what they're looking for that are going to be able to guide you properly and if you're in the process of getting a divorce do you want to be the one stuck paying that five grand don't you think you better be splitting that too so it's worth the hundred bucks to either say just to, just for the knowledge just for the knowledge to know what you're dealing with right and there's a lot of stuff out there that can be done for free that will save you a lot of money and a lot of heartache. Um, before we went to the break, I mentioned something about liens against the house. Right. And this is something that a lot of people really don't want to think about. And they figure, well, you know, their attorney might have, you know, everything, you know, all up to snuff. But sometimes they can miss things. Sometimes they don't know what they should be looking for. And uh, you want to find out if maybe your spouse decided they had a little honey somewhere and they wanted they loved their little honey so much obviously more than they love their spouse that they wanted to buy their little honey a, a little love shack you know maybe a little condo in florida or something that was the uh, the owner of the clippers did that right? yeah i think so <laughs> yeah yeah you know and, and you don't even have to be that rich to do it because i know people that have had that happen to them and they have no idea that a home equity line was taken against their home by their spouse who perhaps had their little honey whether it be male or female, pose as either their husband or wife to sign those home equity papers so they could draw the money out so they could go buy that little hideaway. So this could be completely off of your radar. You have no idea because somebody basically went in and pretended that they were you. And you need to do a deep, 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 deep title search on your property before you even step in a courtroom because once you go into that courtroom and you start talking about your mar marital settlement agreement there ain't no going back once that thing is written up you are done and if you just do that little formula that i mentioned earlier well let's just do the settlement and i'll give you that seventy five thousand dollars and then you know three years from now you go to sell the house that's when you find out that you have been you know financing the love shack in florida that's a rotten time to find that out yeah, because now now you're stuck. You're st exactly, and and you know, you have no recourse then. Absolutely no recourse. You can go back to court and try to fight it, but doing you're spending all that money, you're again. doing all that work, and you know the who's who's making the money at this point? It's certainly not going to be you. It's going to be your attorney that you should be done with by this point in time. You certainly hope. Yeah, you would you would think so. You know, there's just certain things that you really need to look for. Um, you know, I had a client who. Uh, his wife moved to Pennsylvania. He stayed in California. They finally decided to get a divorce. Um, the divorce was filed in Pennsylvania. He went back there to do the um, finalization of it. And his attorney said, well, you know what you need to do? You need to get a quick claim put together to take your wife off of that house in California that they held on to as a rental. So he contacted me and said, Lisa, can you help me out with this? Um, I need a quick claim deed drawn up, you know, a California quick claim deed. And I'm like, okay. I said, are you sure you need it? And he said, yeah, my attorney said I do. And I said, okay. So I went to the title company. I said, I need to do a deep search on this house. And lo and behold, the wife had signed off a quick claim deed 10 years prior. Wow. And the attorney didn't know how to go about finding it. So 
who got to look like the hero in that one. To, yeah. You know, I didn't make any money off of it. I do this as a service to my clients. But this attorney who is making a boatload of money off of the situation, maybe not all attorneys do, but, you know, we have our stereotypes. Sure. Um, he didn't know where to look. He didn't know how to look. And I've had this happen on more than one occasion that, you know, there's things that we know being in the trenches day in and day out on, you know, seeing what's on title. Um, you know, checking to be sure that somebody can qualify for a loan. That's why you need to have a lender involved, too, because you need to be sure that you can actually qualify to hold that property if you choose to do it and that you can refinance it out of your spouse's name because if your spouse is still on there, they can just let their credit go to heck in a handbasket. They're on that mortgage, and guess what? That affects you right along with it. Sure. You think that they're maybe making the house payment? Maybe not, and you're going to find out when you got that foreclosure notice on your door. So it's best to divorce the spouse in the house, refinance it, get it clearly into your name, but you got to know that you can afford those payments too. And it's, it's a lot of issues to deal with, and sometimes the attorneys, I've seen many times where the attorneys will actually just say that, well, the judge said, and lenders don't want to even talk to the judge, so they're going to put extra overlays on top of that. Give us a call at 800-306-1990. We'd be happy to share information with you on how to solve these problems. Be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. If you want to meet any of our guests, give me a call at 800-306-1990. And remember, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. You're listening to ESPN Radio 1700.